Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, remember to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So today's video is going to be a reading vlog, and I have, I'm not currently reading any books, and so I have three left on my October TBR, and today is October 21st, and so... I have to decide which of these three books I want to read. I have Frankenstein Prodigal Son by Dean Koontz, which is the first book in this series. I also have Living Dead in Dallas by Charlene Harris. And Stuck on You by Portia McIntosh. I don't think, I think maybe, should I save this for the holiday season I don't know and I'm interested in this one but it's just not calling to me you know I think I'm gonna read Frankenstein Prodigal Son by Dean Koontz I loved his writing I loved where is that book where's Odd Thomas there it is Odd Thomas over there you can just barely see it and so yeah I think I'm gonna go with Frankenstein Prodigal Son so let's get reading Okay guys, so I just finished dinner and I've read 12 pages of Frankenstein Prodigal Son so far. And I am watching Lauren and Amanda from Loranda Reads, their reading sprints that are live right now. And so I've been reading Frankenstein Prodigal Son and I've only got 12 pages done. So far it's good, but I can't really tell you too much. So I'm going to continue reading and see you guys soon. So I am now on page 34 and again still not much has happened but I am enjoying it more than I was in the beginning because it's starting to stuff starting to happen and I definitely think this is going to be a good book. I don't think it's going to be too too scary but I will let you know when I'm done reading it if I remember to tell you if it is scary or if it's not and or how scary it is and yeah it says Every city has its secrets, but not as terrible as this. So that's the first little bit of the description. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say at this time, but I will come back to you probably after Lauren and Amanda have done their next chat or are they, or are about to do their chat. So I don't know. I'll probably get back to you in what's that like 10 minutes. Okay, so um, Loranda reads their reading sprints are going to be, well, like they're going to be stopping their reading and talking in uh, about three minutes. So I've decided to just stop reading for right now and just to film this for you guys and then just sit and wait. But I'm on chapter eight, page 46, and so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've read one other Dean Koontz book. I have read Odd Thomas, which I said earlier in this video. I'm pretty sure that was this video. And so I gave that one five stars because I saw the movie first, and I love that movie. In my opinion, the movie is better than the book, but I still love the book. Gave it five stars. This one is not as good as Odd Thomas so far, and I don't think it's going to be just because I love that one so much, but this is really good, and hopefully I enjoy it because I have another book by him, and I have Innocence which is also on my TBR. Um, so hopefully I enjoy this and hopefully I enjoy that one. And I think maybe he can become like one of my authors that I try to collect. Well, not try to collect, but like that I like lots of their books. And he, Aunt Thomas makes up my entire horror section on the shelf of books I've read. So when I've read this one, if I like it enough to keep it, then it will join that one. So it's not so lonely. And yeah, I, I want to try other horror authors like Stephen King. I want to read Firestarter, Misery, The Mist, Fairy Tale, um, those ones by Stephen King. But so far, Dean Koontz just seems to be the horror author for me. So hopefully I enjoy this. And their sprints are going to be starting in like less than a minute. So I should go and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so the sprints have just started like a minute ago and I don't really feel like reading the 
just kind of feel like I've gotten a good amount of reading done. And so I might read. I just think I need a break from this particular book I'm reading. So I have some library books downstairs, but I don't feel like going downstairs right now because I'm going to be streaming City of Heroes tonight on Twitch. So if you don't follow my Twitch already, please make sure you do that if you want to. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And it's going to be in the description is the name of my channel and it's in the description of all of my videos along with my Instagram and TikTok. So if you want to check those out, please do so. And it would mean a lot to me if you gave me a follow. And so also is my Goodreads if you want to add me as a friend on Goodreads and see what I'm reading while I'm reading it. Although recently I haven't been like putting in what I'm reading to Goodreads or like updating what page I'm on at all. So may not be very accurate, but you know, I try sometimes. Sometimes I don't try, you know. But I have two books left on my October TBR because again, I don't feel like going downstairs to get the library books until I'm done with the sprint, like the sprints, and I'm ready to start playing City of Heroes. So I've got Living Dead in Dallas and Stuck on You. And Living Dead in Dallas is a fantasy mystery, so definitely fits the October vibes. But Stuck on You is a holiday book. I believe it's a holiday romance. Yes, it's super romantic and full of festive spirit. It's a holiday romance book. So is October really the time to read this? I don't know. I think you can read holiday books any time of year. But I'm not sure if I should read this this month or if I should wait and save this for the holiday season coming up because... December is right around the corner. It is October 21st, the day that I'm filming this. And I can't believe that in like just over a month, we can start putting up Christmas decorations. So let me know down in the comments below if you celebrate Christmas or what you celebrate and if you're looking forward to the holiday season. And yeah, I just can't wait for all the Christmas decorations, the Christmas movies, the Christmas lights and all the lights. I can't wait, and I can't wait to give people gifts, and to receive gifts, of course, but I also love giving gifts. Anyways, that aside, that I got real sidetracked there. What book should I read? I'll get back to you when I've decided. So I've decided to read Living Dead in Dallas by Charlene Harris, and we'll see if this is any good. So I'm going to probably just start reading this book and maybe go back and forth between the two and then um I guess in about 15 minutes um Lauren and Amanda should be back after the reading portion to do some more talking so and I will be listening to them and messaging in the chat okay guys so I am on page six of living dead in Dallas I know not much but I am now on page 59 of Prodigal Son. And that is it for me for tonight. Not for this video, don't worry. But for tonight, I'm just going to go downstairs because my phone is dying and I'm going to charge it while I finish uh, Loranda Reed's reading sprints on my laptop. And then I'm going to play City of Heroes and then probably just hang out and do whatever. So I will see you guys probably tomorrow, but I'll see you when I see you. So I got to page like 48 of Living Dead in Dallas and I am just not enjoying it. The concept sounds good, but the writing is just not it for me. So I am going to be DNFing that. I DNF that. I am still reading Prodigal Son, but I made great progress. I'm on page 354 out of 469. So literally just over... 100 pages to go and I am really enjoying this it is really good and I can't wait to see how this one ends but it's not the end and because it's the first book in the series but I still want to see what happens and hopefully I will one day con continue this series because I have so many series that I'm in the middle of but yeah so far really enjoying this and I'll update you guys later Okay guys, so I just finished Prodigal Son and I loved this book. I gave it 4.5 stars. I definitely recommend and I definitely plan on reading the rest of the series someday. I don't own any of the other books in the series so it could be quite a while before I get to them, if I ever get to them. I hope I do because I really enjoyed this. But that is it for today's video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Before you go, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!